Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today is my reading challenge update video, so I'm going to go over and wrap up 2015's reading challenge and tell you all about 2016's reading challenge. So basically, I'm looking down, looking at my notebook where I wrote down all the statistics, and most of these statistics do come from the Goodreads um, little email they sent around called like Your Year in Books, and that was very helpful so I can really tell you guys some more in-depth statistics about my reading habits and what I was up to in the reading year. Um, this is the first year I've actually tracked all my reads on Goodreads, um, from beginning to end, so it was pretty exciting. Just one book did not track because I reread it, uh, but I wrote it, I have them all written down regardless. And it was, yeah, it was just a really cool experience. I've never really done that before because I always forget halfway through the year or don't update my status. So I'm hoping to keep running with it this year because it was a lot of fun. So in 2015, um, I read 69 books. Um, my original goal was 50 books, which I did complete in August of 2015 at the very end. Um, I had eight books left, read eight books in August. And then I set a goal for 75 books because I did have English first semester and I didn't know how many books I'd be. I know it was um, it was a fairy tales class. I knew I'd have quite a few, but we ended up reading a lot of stuff out of an anthology and we didn't finish the anthology, so I never counted it and stuff like that. So I didn't read till 75, so that was incomplete. But in the end, I did read 19 extra books, which was fabulous. Um, a lot of it was due to my very good reading month of May. I read 19 books in May, and a lot of that was due to the Princess Diaries series, which were shorter reads, but I read a lot of them, so eh. Um, so yeah, so the shortest book, according to Goodreads, was, Str I'm probably going to pronounce this horribly, Stu Welpeter by Henri Hoffman, which was 32 pages. I read this for um, my English class. Uh, that's why it was 32 pages. And my longest book was Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon, which was 947 pages. Um, and then the average length of a book um, that I read this year was around 323 pages. So it's a pretty decent sized book. The most popular book I read was actually reread for me. It was The Little Prince by Antoine Saint de Saint Uxbury. I believe that's or Saint de Uxbury. Something like that. Um, I reread this. I read it originally in grade 12 in my French class, but I hadn't read it in English yet, and I was supposed to read it for my English class I had last semester. And my least popular, by most popular and least popular, I mean by ratings and people adding it to their shelves and stuff on Goodreads. Um, the least popular book was The Adventures of My the Bee by, I forget his name, but Boncel. Um, and I had to read that one for school yet again. Um, the highest rated book I read on Goodreads was This Is Water um, by David Foster Wallace, which is the commencement speech that he delivered to a school. And that is basically the encapsulates what I did last year. I think I had a very good reading year. I'm very proud of myself. I was a little upset I didn't make my 75 goal, but I did beat my first goal and that was the most important part. And I did get to read extra books and I had a lot of fun doing reading. I read a lot of amazing books, so there's nothing to be disappointed in that. So my new goal is to read 50 books this year. Now, last year I know I beat my goal, but I know I'm not reading a series of Princess Diaries again, which really helps me because I was really addicted to it and the books aren't that lengthy. Um, well, some of them are, but some of them, like, there's little novellas and stuff like that. So I'm going to say 50 again, but I have two English classes semester, contemporary Canadian fiction, so I'm going to be reading a lot of books, and then children's literature. So I'm, I'm going to be reading about, I think, 20 books, it looks like, or something like that combined for each. So I'm my goal kind of is to read 50 books, but I'd like to see if I can complete 50 books by the end of July this year. Um, which I think would be quite a stretch, but you know, we're all about setting goals. If you don't make them, oh well, setting them's good enough as long as you try to follow through. So that's why I'm doing 50 books. Um, lately I've been just doing 50 books because being in university, I do have way more homework than I did in high school where I used to set a hundred book challenge. So I think 50 books and keeping up with school and doing my hobbies and stuff like that is enough. But I have my little mini goal of trying to get that done by the end of July. Um... So yeah, that's basically my reading challenge update. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what your guys' goal for this year is for reading, how many books you want to complete. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.